So today what we're gonna do is go ahead and create a uh, call forwarding application. So what this is going to do is receive an incoming phone call and then forward it to a destination uh, a destination phone number, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and call the phone number and the phone number that's gonna forward it to is my own phone number. So while I'm on the phone, yeah, I should see another incoming call uh, interrupting my call, which is the forwarded call. So let's go ahead and try this out now. Um, if I go switch on the bottom here, I'll move over to the Python shell and I've got the API running. So now let's go ahead and give that phone number a call. Um, I'm gonna open up my phone here and you see we're gonna call this number right here. Oops, right there. All right, I don't know if it'll stick, but there we go, okay. And now it's gonna go ahead and tell me that I have a, oh, that I can execute my code when I press a button. There we go, it's ringing. <laughs> so this is forwarding my call. Again, this is a trial account, so I don't have the ability to switch that. And there comes the call. So potential spam comes in. Um, and again, that would be, you can switch the phone number so it won't come across as potential spam, but that's generally speaking the gist of it here. So this can forward your, this is an application that basically has its own personal phone number, receives calls, and then forwards those to any downstream phone numbers you want. Uh, the reason that I kind of built this out initially was because one of my buddies mentioned that because of COVID, one of his uh, bosses was getting rid of their phone at, to reduce costs at the restaurant. And so they were trying, we were brainstorming like little ideas for how you could go ahead and, and, and fix that or like reduce phone bills or whatnot. We were thinking like, oh, all the employees have phones in their pockets. So if you had an application that could go ahead and route the phone calls to employees' phones, then you wouldn't necessarily need a, a phone at work. You would just be able to schedule it based on when the employees were on their shift. And they would be able to receive the calls from a call they knew was um, a, a customer that was calling for the restaurant or something like that. So anyways, that's something they have to be trained for and whatnot, but it could potentially reduce the need for an expensive phone bill. But anyways, um, let's go ahead here and check out this here. So um, again, we're going ahead and we're importing from Flask. Uh, we're going ahead and importing Flask request and response. Now these are ways that we can go ahead and create the API, uh, see what variables are sent on the request and see how to determine how we're going to reply. Then we have uh, from Twilio twiml uh, voice response we're importing uh, voice response the voice response class all right and this is what's going to allow us to basically respond with a voice response um, if we so choose so then that's what we're doing when we're forwarding our call on here later all right so next up here we're going ahead and we're creating our api saying app equals flask passing the name variable here and this is going to go ahead and create an api for us um, and we're going to add some routes to that later on um, then we have a, a single method here that returns an array of tuples, and these are just names of workers and their phone numbers. So in this case, it's just my name and, um, and my phone number. So that's, that's that there. Um, and then we go ahead and we say uh, we have forward calls. So if we go ahead and we say forward call to the selected shift worker, um, if we want to do that, then we go ahead and say uh, worker's name and worker's number as a two argument tuple. So we take a worker object, and that's how we forward the call. We take a name and a number in the object, and we go ahead and we forward it on to the number. So we say print processing call forward, and we go ahead and we instantiate that voice response object that we imported. Uh, we go ahead and we call response.say, forwarding your call to uh, this worker object one here. So forwarding your call to the uh, number. Really, we should put that as a name, and then we should just dial the number. Uh, so then we should say forwarding the call to John, and then dial the number. Um, and then that would go ahead and dial and then we go ahead and return a response so that we know that we got a proper response here back to the back to the as the response to the webhook so there is a webhook in go involved here and that's what we see here uh, there is a single route uh, slash call forward that receives a post request and that retrieves all the workers on shift it goes ahead and it forwards the call to the first worker and then it returns that response now this is going to receive post requests from the twilio servers when a call is incoming to the twilio server so let's go ahead and look at that now so if i pull up chrome here um, i'll go grab that what I see in front of me here is the Twilio active numbers. So the way to do this is go ahead and create a Twilio account. Uh, they do have trial accounts and then they give you free credit for like 15 bucks, which is plenty. And then you go ahead and you go over to active numbers here on the side, you see phone numbers, right? And then you go ahead to active numbers and you can go ahead and create uh, your own new number here. 
if you'd like so you can go ahead and click to add a new number and this is what you'll do here so you can buy a number or you can get one for free um, there's a way to do that as well uh, let's see here um, there's a way to get it for free I have to I have to look uh, get Twilio number for free Yeah, so you guys would have to Google it around a little bit here. Um, but yeah, you should be able to, with the phone numbers API, you can search and build. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, I don't see it right away. But there is a way to get, you can just get your, your, your phone numbers here. Um, then you go ahead and you get your phone number. Um, and you go try, if you guys try just entering it in there, I think you might be able to just get it for free. All right, and then you'll have your phone number here. Then we can go ahead and grab this. We can click on our number, and then if you guys see at the bottom here, you guys will see a you guys will see a webhook option. So if we see voice here, configure with webhooks, uh, twimmel bins, functions, studio or proxy. We want to say a call comes in below that. We see a call comes in, and we see webhook, and we want to post in the ngrok URL. So again, we're creating an an API. As we see, we have an API and we run it here. So if name equals main app dot run, and then it's running right here on, on local host at port 5000. And then we want to see, and now we need to expose this API publicly somehow. So to do that, we're using ngrok. And again, the download for this is above. ngrok looks like this. You see over the left here, just ngrok.exe. That's all we need. And I'll have the download for that in the description. Just put it in the same directory as the project. And then we go ahead down here and we see uh, we have our, our HTTP uh, address is forwarding HTTP uh, 7A1B6BC39, etc., uh, onto HTTP localhost at port 5000, and this is the uh, URL that we want to post in there uh, when we when we have our phone number uh, webhook. So uh, let's go ahead and grab that, and that's what we want to put in there. And remember, we have our endpoint, which is that slash call forward. So that's what the last bit is there. And then you just go ahead and hit save there. Make sure this is HTTP post. Those are the type of uh, request it's going to be sending to that endpoint. And we go ahead and click save. Okay. Now I do want to figure out how to get free numbers, so I will link I will link in the description how to get free numbers, so you guys can have that for sure. Um, in case uh, in case that that's not that it's not readily apparent here, and that should do it. So again, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with Twilio, and I encourage you to ex ex explore that library to see what else you can do. Um, there's a lot of different vo uh, voice messaging, SMS, um, et cetera, things you can do, and it provides a lot of the infrastructure for you, so it's very easy to get up and running very quickly, which is fun. Um, so anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that cool little call forwarding application. Maybe you can find some way to extend that or find a neat application for that in your own uh, on your own. Um, and yeah, again, I uh, hope you guys have a great day.